Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now December 21st of 2021 and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2 and The Bad Batch, a lot of Star Wars fans have truly been looking forward to the future of the Star Wars universe by Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, George Lucas, and Disney CEO Bob Chapek and exactly what they're really putting together for this new Star Wars universe at large. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at Mike01 if you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there. I do post a couple of entertaining things from time to time. Make sure to really interact with you guys further. So we're now in a very interesting phase of Star Wars, given that, of course, we have a lot going on between John Favreau's, of course, The Mandalorian, and Dave Filoni's The Ahsoka Tano series, and how they're both working together to kind of even out those stories. What's really going on is that we have George, John, and Dave working together as this trio on not just new Star Wars TV shows, but also new Star Wars movies in the mix that will be announced at Star Wars Celebration of 2022 next year. That's going to be very exciting. We also have a lot coming our way for new comics, books, and novels that's really going to intertwine with all of the new Star Wars TV shows. So what's really all the more intriguing has everything to do with the fact of what's been going on behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm between Jon Favreau and Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy. Now, we already know that Kathleen Kennedy's been having a lot of issues with the Acolyte TV series. You know, Leslie Headland has been going through a lot of setbacks based on a lot of the firings of the writers and some of the directors that were on board previously, as well as some of the other creations that were having issues with the Acolyte TV show as well. So with that being said, of course, what's even all the more intriguing has everything to do with Jon Favreau and exactly what happened with, of course, Kathleen Kennedy. So with that being said, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe, both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are actively developing their new Star Wars shows like Star Wars Ahsoka and even The Bad Batch Season 2, for examples. However, many changes are happening behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm by creator Jon Favreau in order to regulate the Star Wars franchise. One major change has everything to do with the roadmap of the franchise. It's described that, however, recently Kathleen Kennedy made a big change to one of Jon Favreau's concepts for the Star Wars universe that he has been very frustrated over. Now, it's described that Jon Favreau had actually created a brand new character for the High Republic era of the franchise that was going to debut in the Acolyte TV series for Disney+. Plus. Given that Favreau holds a ton of creative power over the universe, he was very engaged with regulating the Acolyte series. John's new character was described to be a new Jedi that was very close to Yoda, that was going to provide the fans new secrets and truths about Yoda, not just in the Acolyte series, but also in the upcoming books, novels, and comics, and even planned for the Eclipse video game that, will de that, will that is actually set to debut most likely in 2024. Now, further from this, Favreau's character recently was erased and cancelled from the Acolyte series by Kathleen Kennedy, and it has been creating a stir of drama behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm for some weeks now between Favreau and Kennedy. The reason Kennedy decided to erase Jon Favreau's High Republic character from the script was due to the fact that this character was not diverse enough and was not fitting in with her agenda for the Acolyte series. So let me just stop right here for a second and pause, right? Because we've seen a great example of this time and time again with Kathleen Kennedy canceling concepts, canceling characters, because they're not diverse enough. And I think that's when things really begin to fail. That's when you realize that things really are not moving along smoothly with a specific project, or things really are not true in nature to the overall structure of the story. You really have to work at it, you really have to be creative, you can't just go by agendas and being very diverse just because it has to be a very well written story, very well written characters with great character development. As long as you got that, you got a great story. And that's something that Kathleen Kennedy really seems to be failing at with the Acolyte TV series. I mean, we're seeing a lot of examples just like this where Leslie Headland and Kathleen Kennedy themselves actually have had a lot of arguments over some creative differences. You would have never imagined that, but they have had a lot of arguments over specific key sequences that are being written for the Acolyte TV show. So moving on from all of this, 
John Favreau recently took things up with the higher-ups over at Disney, and sadly there is nothing that they can do, as Kennedy holds full creative power over the Acolyte series. Now, of course, sadly, since Favreau created this powerful Jedi that was close to Yoda, while Kennedy was in charge of the Acolyte series, she also holds control over the character across all platforms, including how he is to be used in the Star Wars comics and books as well. Now, this is what is angering Jon Favreau right now behind the scenes, is that not only was his character erased from the script of the Acolyte series, but also now Kathleen Kennedy took full control over Jon Favreau's Jedi character that is best described as the best friend of Master Yoda during the High Republic era strictly, as this character does not hold the same lifespan as Yoda does. So once again, I mean, I gotta say, everything related to what Kathleen Kennedy has been up to between canceling specific key sequences of the Rise of Skywalker that we would have all loved to have seen that we never got to see, that involved, of course, Anakin Skywalker, more scenes that had to do with Palpatine, Rey, and Ben Solo, and all of the like. We never really got to see any of that. And that was all because of Kathleen Kennedy, and here we have a similar scenario, a similar situation where Kathleen Kennedy is the one who is taking Jon Favreau's idea and concept and throwing it into the trash and changing it up completely. That is something that I totally disagree with. I don't know what's going on with Kathleen Kennedy's mind here. I don't know if she does this on purpose or if this is just second nature to her. You know, I think that obviously she has some form of agenda against Jon Favreau's creations. We've seen this time and time again with Kathleen Kennedy, not just for the sequels, but also with Solo. We've also seen it with other Star Wars movies out there like David Benioff and D.B. Weiss's movies. Creative differences every single time, time and time again. That all has to do with Kathleen Kennedy and exactly how she does not agree with the creators. And that's something that I think needs to stop. It really does. So moving on from this as well, all right, Favreau has been fighting for his character to be used under his control for a while now, and sadly it has not been moving anywhere, of course, obviously, since Kathleen Kennedy had her reasons for Favreau's pitch of the character to be used against him. Kathleen Kennedy is already in the process with other creators on changing Favreau's creation, involving the design of him as well. So that to me is another upsetting thing for, Fa for Favreau, is the fact that she's also redesigning the character that Favreau created. Now, once again, this character is best described as the best friend of Yoda during the High Republic era. And given that the Acolyte TV series takes place at the tail end of this particular era, it really does make you wonder whether or not this is the best way to go about doing things. You know, you don't want to mess around with specific characters that have a lot of connections to the already established characters like Yoda, for example. John Favreau seems to be, you know, pretty much on his A-game, really making sure that he can do everything as much as possible to really kind of explore the legacy characters in a different light. And by adding in a character like this that was going to add value to Yoda's life, I think it would have been pretty interesting to see John Favreau's take. It's very unfortunate that Kathleen Kennedy once again has to step in take this character concept away and kind of twist things around a bit and make it of her own. Again, it's unfortunate because it is her TV show. She has full creative power over that show, and there's really no reasoning with that, sadly. So overall, guys, you know, let me know what you think about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.